here's my question. When did it become necessary to fill out an application to get a haircut? Now, before I get too far into this, this is my fault initially because I forgot what day of the week it was and I didn't get a haircut sooner. So that's on me. The haircut place that I normally go to is closed today because it's Sunday, it's Mother's Day. So I had to go to a new haircut place. So I pulled up to this haircut place knowing one, it's Sunday, everybody's just getting out of church. It's Mother's Day, they're probably going to be packed. So I walk in, crazy enough, not a lot of people in there. Now, I'm not gonna say which haircut place I went to because by no means am I trying to take away any business from them or talk down on them as a whole because the reality is that girl did a good job. I like it. Now, the issue I have is I get in there and she says, did you sign up online? And I'm thinking to myself, as much as I like technology and I do everything on my phone anyways, that's kind of cool. I'm like, no, I didn't. She goes, okay, just fill out that paper and we'll get, you know, we'll be right with you. No problem. So I get this paper and it's it's a legit like application. Name, address, phone number, work phone number, cell phone, like it's got all this personal information that they want me to fill out so that I can be in line to get a haircut. So I put my name at the top. That was it. I'm the type of person that when I go to a store to purchase something and they say, what's your email address? I tell them, no, I don't want to do that. No, and you. they're like, well, I have to put something in. Okay, put your email address in there. You don't need my email address. I don't want to get all these coupons and all this other crazy stuff in the mail. I want to buy the one thing that I want right now and I'm done. And I'm not rude about it. I just tell them, I don't want to give you all this information. I want to give you the money that it costs to buy this thing and be done with it. Now at the same time, I'm not one of those people who thinks that the government is after me or they're watching my every move and they're getting all of my information that's just not me. Now, do I think that somebody is listening in? Probably. But I also don't care. I don't do anything around my devices or in general that I shouldn't be doing that's illegal or something that somebody's going to be watching me or trying to track me down for. So that's not the issue. The issue is a personal thing. I don't think it's necessary for you to have my home address and my cell phone number and my work number and all this other crazy junk for you to cut my hair. So again, I put my name down and that's it. So the girl calls my name. She says, Joe, I said, yeah. She goes, can you do me a favor and finish filling out this paper? And I said, I did. She said, no, sir, all that's on here is your name. And I said, yes, I'm finished. That's all I'm putting down. And she kind of looks around like confused, like this hasn't happened before. So she says, well, I need to have all your information so that I can put you in our system. I said, all I, all I want is a haircut. I'm not trying to be put in your system. I'm not looking for any kind of rewards program or coupons. Like, I just need a haircut. So she's like, well, I can't, we can't do that unless I have you in my system. I have to be able to put you in there and show who the haircut's going to, this and that. And I'm like, you can't just give me a haircut and I pay you for the service that, that I'm going to be getting. And she's like, well, and, and she's just confused. She doesn't know what to tell me. And I'm upset, but I'm not being mean or rude. I'm just asking questions. Why is it necessary that you have all of my information to cut my hair? I remember being a kid and you didn't even have to sign in to get a haircut. You would go and sit down and either the barber or whoever was cutting your hair knew who was next or you went on the honor system and the guy that was there after you says, oh no, he was here first. So all of this filling out an application baffles me. So anyways, after me asking questions of why do you need my address? Why do you need my phone number? I'm not expecting you to call me and say, hey, is it time for you to get a haircut yet? We're available. No, I'll come in when I need one. So finally, another lady walks up who I'm assuming is a manager of some sort and says, well, what's the problem? And she says, well, he didn't fill out the card. And she says, well, sir, can you finish filling out this card? And I said, no, I don't think it's necessary for me to give you all of my information for a haircut. 
So I asked her, can you cut my hair or not? If not, I'll go to another place. And she says, well, let me see. And again, I'm assuming this hasn't happened before, but she gets on the computer, types something in, I'm assuming my name and, and does like a little mock profile. I don't know what exactly she did, but she says, yes, sir, we can get you in. Why is it necessary that you need all of that information to cut my hair? At a minimum, well, let me take that back. Maximum, you need my name to know who's next in line. You really don't even need that. Oh, that guy's next. My name doesn't matter. All that matters is I was the next one. I have money. I need a haircut. Cut my hair. I pay you and I'm gone. And again, I'm not knocking them. They did a good job did exactly what I wanted to do. It was just that two or three minutes of confusion in the beginning. I'm not giving you all of my information so that you can cut my hair. Now, I'm getting older. I was raised a certain way. I'm old school. I got that old school mindset. Maybe it's just me, and this is why this is just a rant. But, man, why, why is everybody trying to get all of our information for a simple service that they're you know about to render? I don't get it.